Hello Gravy Timmy, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where today we are looking for more Hearts of Iron 4 achievement. That's right, we got the mods out the way, because not, <laughs> funnily enough, November's gonna be full of them. Uh, speaking of which, Nostalgia November coming up, which mods would you like to see me go back to in November? I've already got quite a few on my list, but if there are any outliers that you remember from the channel, feel free to leave them down below in a comment so that I can shift through them and try to find a version of that mod that still works. It's, um, it's actually surprisingly difficult. But yes, we're back on our grind of trying to get every single achievement in Hearts of Iron 4. And when this video comes out, more than likely, the DLC is already out and I'm playing that. So this is recorded a little bit back behind uh, that DLC. Uh, I'm not going to put the timeline here because I don't want to ruin the immersion. Oh god, I just sneeze like 10 times. I think I'm actually allergic to the Dutch. Uh, yeah, we're going to start off today by giving the Nederlanders a bit of attention. And I'm actually going to risk this one and turn historical AI focuses off and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, because the Dutch have a really fun achievement, which I'm pretty sure I already did on this channel already, I think. I don't know, it's all blended together into a never-ending void, please help. But much like the very fun French team where you have to survive until like 1948 without capitulating, the, uh, the Dutch also have one, except you can't lose any states, and uh, yeah. Fun. But I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, uh, I didn't do it with uh, historical AI focuses off, so I'm just wondering if I do it now and nobody gets a focus to kill me, which again is unlikely because I'm pretty sure more people get focuses to kill me, not, a, not a historical. <laughs> Why did I do this? But I guess the most dangerous one would be the Germans. So if the Germans get their, uh, their normal path and go uh, historical, then I guess we'll restart until they don't. Uh, but yeah, both the French and I'm pretty sure the British can also get a uh, war goal to take me out, so let's just hope that they don't. But yeah, to also complete this achievement, we also need to make sure that we do not cave to the Germans, which means we can either do maintain trade neutrality or do cave to the British, both of which I don't really care for. Mostly because I assume the orange boven uh, means we are completely pointless in doing so if the Germans actually go non-historical because they are going to go ahead and get the Kaiser anyway, so that we're not going to be a war with them, but we could do the communist path, which I can't actually remember if I've ever done. I'm sure I have, but it's that unmemorable that I can't actually remember. But then again, I have actually visited Amsterdam and the Netherlands, and all I can really remember about the country is being stuck in an airport for about four hours. Okay, good news. Bad news is now, if whether or not the Germans go democratic or they go the Kaiser, if they go democratic, I'm pretty sure they might get me a little uh, idea that will permanently boost me democracy. I don't know if I get a choice in that, but please, Germany, I do not wish to be your friend. So yeah, even though I don't plan on being at war, uh, pretty much this entire playthrough. I do plan on making contingency plans if I do plan to go to war with anyone or they plan to go to war with me. There's a plan for everything. Um, by plan, I mean I'm just gonna, you know, build up all the AA and turn my entire country into Fortress Nederlanders. You could say I'm a never fortress. Minecraft reference. <sighs> now it comes to the fun time in the Netherlands where we need to do a 210 day focus. Oh my me, just gonna fall asleep right here. Okay, we have awoken from our slumber and I have noticed that I'm pretty sure the UK is gonna be going communist and I think that's not good for us because depending on what they do, they can demand that we decolonize and I'm assuming if we click no, uh, yeah, that's not gonna go well. Although, I do think I could probably hold out against the British a lot better than the Germans on the front line, but it also is a pain because obviously they could just land on any of these states because the AI is not very clever. Although, I do plan on going communist myself anyway, and they do get a invite to me to join their faction if they go left side over here, but if they just go right side, it does not matter. So, either way, I think we're gonna have to rush and do that. Alright, so they are demanding the return of the Kaiser, and I don't really care. I'm just gonna say yes to it. I think France will also get an event saying no or yes, but again, that ain't my problem. I don't want to go to war with the Germans. Alright, so I could just immediately uh, do trade neutrality. I didn't even have to do any of the plaque dating. I'm not sure if it's just because I waited or because the German Empire had formed and not the other Germans, but yeah, now I can just immediately go ahead and do this. I could do orange boven, but again, 
pointless. Now, the only downside to going communist is that as soon as we do these two focuses right here, all the rest of this stuff will never be done. Um, because we do have to decolonize for it, and I am not going to do that. But also, there's nothing really down here we need to do anyway. Uh, it's all just going to war, and again, it's mostly on, like, Belgium and the, the Luxembourgs down here. But we can't do that anyway, because then Germany will get a war goal on Belgium and Luxembourg and go to war with us. But yes, if I just go communist, we should be fine. If the UK go communist, we can just join their faction. And the same with the French, although at the, the, the moment I don't actually know what the French are doing, and it's kind of worrying. Oh, and yep, of course we got ourselves the good old Soviet Union civil war that always happens and they never finish it. But this one uh, looks somewhat promising. They're not down here in Central Asia. Oh, they also made the European Combine. I mean, <laughs> welcome to City 17. Okay, so we do have two options here, but I think the one I am going to go for is definitely the left side, because that will give us the air designer, and I do plan on making a lot of planes, hopefully, because we don't have a lot of resources, but the resources we do have on our own are, is quite a bit of a linear minimums, and uh, also we can get a lot of rubber from our puppet, and I don't think we're going to have to worry about the Japanese, because they've gone... Uh, well, they, I was going to say communist, but that doesn't look too healthy. I don't... You're going to have to hold that down, Japan. Ooh, it's looking like the uh, French are definitely going to be going communist, too. And considering what's happening in the Spanish Civil War, I think we're going to be looking at a very, very red world. <laughs> Mod reference! I realize my communist advisor is called Saul de Groot. <laughs> Okay, the absolute worst part about the UK is that they do need to decolonize to do everything they are currently doing. Which means, considering I have to sit here until 1945, this game's gonna be very slow. Uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna start working on getting uh, the, the Dutch East Indies annexed as well, but not before I obviously steal all their manpower. And boom, there you go. We are also now communist. And that's actually a alright flag, I guess. Oh, and uh, we got ourselves a Tito on the horizon and communist Greece. <laughs> we, we got the whole squad today, huh? Man, it is really... Oh, no way. Did they... Okay. <laughs> All right, now... This ain't pre-planned, I just want to let you know. <laughs> okay, but I was gonna say, it's really kicking off down here in the Balkans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just in case, I've got myself a non-aggression pact with the Germans by just using our spy to diplomatically press them, then uh, improved our relations. But I don't think they will go for us, um... I hope, uh, you know, just in case we'll, um, we'll, we'll get a few thoughts done. Oh yeah, it ain't, uh, it ain't looking too good for my communist brothers. Okay, so now we can go ahead and annex the Dutch East Indies. I'm not gonna do it just yet, though. I wanna make sure I get as much manpower from them as physically possible. Oh, okay. Weirdly enough, the Germans are at war with the SSSR. And Norway. How did that come about? All right, 1940 has come, and we are now only five years away from being free. Also, the UK, for some reason, is in a faction with India, and they won't let me join it because they hate me. <laughs> All right, we can easily wiggle out a bit more, but there's really no point. I think after um, 106 infantry units there, that should be more than enough. Goodbye, Dutch East Indies. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and return them all to the manpower pool. And there you go. A million manpower as the Dutch. Don't mind if I do. Um... I was not expecting that one. Yeah, I don't think you guys are ever going to do anything to each other. Oh, so everything has kicked off proper now, and it is a little bit weird to understand, but the European alliance, which is essentially uh, Germany, Austria, Poland, and all the Baltics, are now at war with the European Combine, which is the Soviets and the British, but also, obviously, the Soviets are at war with the North American alliance. Simple, really. Um, but yeah, the allies do still exist in India. Uh, Greece has a faction called the Corfu Cooperative. And also, China is split between Japan and the European Alliance. All makes sense. Uh, and meanwhile, we're just kind of... Keeping, keeping our heads low and keeping our nose out of everything. Okay, I haven't been doing nothing though. I have got a justification on Guyana because they are free now and they do have a lot of cool resources that I would like to take. Question is though, will they join the US North American Alliance? I really hope they don't. <gasps> no. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, the peace conference fired because they, before they got called in. And I'm not doing that again. That was too risky. Yeah, we, we're not going to do that again. I could tell you that much. Although, I don't think it would have mattered too much with the US. Uh, most because they'd have to obviously come and take one of our core territories over here to void the achievement. But, uh, yep, still not going to risk it. I still have no idea what France is doing in any of this. Considering their pie chart, right? Hold on, they have a war goal on the UK. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I, I just realized we never actually bothered doing the focus to remove the queen. So, yeah, we're still... We're, <laughs> Hey, you know, what's the bother? <laughs> okay, just out of interest, since I do have all these planes building, if we can actually make a difference, I'm going to send them to Greece. I've got my cast and my fighters and see if uh, this will actually do anything. Oh, yeah, this, this should definitely do something. Go on, Greece, get them. Oh, yeah, that cast is absolutely shredding them because they have nothing to stop me over here. So go on, let's do it. Communism forever. I'm sorry, wait a second. I just already, yep. <laughs> notification that the fall of Berlin had happened. Yeah, I, I, it kind of makes me wonder if they're actually winning this war. No, why would you, why would you do that? Okay, well, back to square one. Oh, they even took the airport in the south. I hate, I despise you. <laughs> okay, well, the, the war's over. <laughs> Why didn't they take all of it? Also, hold on. On top of that, did Bulgaria flip communist during that as well? How <laughs> was the point? So I guess I could help the British with some volunteers, but at the same time, they hate me and won't let me join their faction. So I'm going to just do a bit of a whammy here and help the Germans. Does it make sense? Not, not really. Um, but we're here anyway. Oh, okay. Now the Germans do have a lot of planes in the air too, but I am absolutely gunning them down in the sky over here. And they getting pushed back. Hey, there you go. What a little bit of air supremacy can do for you, huh? Oh, well, that's that's actually nasty. They're not getting out. They're dead. Oh, <laughs> Bye, Britain. Well, it's actually been so long of France not doing anything. They lost their war goal on the UK. Uh, we'll see if their election triggers them to go communist. But I think at this point, France is probably just going for the 1948 no capitulation surrender achievement. Uh, okay, I guess we're just at the point now where at least she's fed up. And they're just going to straight up justify on the French. I also... I, I'm not sure. I, okay, I, well, Manchuko might also declare on them for Indochina. I don't... <laughs> something might happen. Yeah, they're getting a little bogged down in the uh, the Soviet war, though. Uh, mostly from supply, I imagine. But I haven't seen the UK do anything since they lost, like, 30 divisions in a tile. Well, it's finally happening. France is now at war with the Latin bloc and... Uh, all it took for them was to join the Africans People's Union, which I'm assuming is South Africa's faction. Oh, wait, yeah, they're doing the... Cr I could join. <laughs> I'm not joining. Uh, we have gone ahead now and unlocked ourselves modern planes, which we are putting to use. Although I haven't even bothered putting jet engines on them because that requires tungsten on them. Whereas there's nothing really wrong with the engine 4. It's just a little bit slower. But I guess we get to witness the downfall of France from afar. Because they are not going to win against Belgium. Bit sad, in it. Good news is, though, very soon, uh, in January, we will be free from this pain. And they've gone back to war with what's left of Greece. Hey, there you go. Achievement unlocked. What a fun one it's been. Okay, now we're free to do whatever the hell we want. Because there is nothing stopping us. We don't have to... I'm sorry. Well, when did when did this happen? You know what? Don't even want to know. But the question is now, which side do I join in all of these conflicts? I actually have no idea. Mm, you know, I'm actually very tempted to just go deal with the UK. After all, they have been a bit of a pain not letting me join their faction. Hmm. Ah, uh, you yeah, know what? Let's give it a crack, shall we? And uh, I get the feeling there are going to be a ton of British submarines just everywhere about my business. So we're just going to uh, preempt that a little bit. Mostly down to the fact that a lot of my stuff does come from overseas. That's where all the resources are currently at. So if they just get intercepted on the way, that's not going to be very fun for all my convoys. All right, let's just uh, let's just see what this does, huh? Oh, well, you know, I never thought I'd be joining this family. 
action, but sure. Oh, and we are fighting over the air. Now, the casualties might seem a bit high for my planes, but just remember, that's probably all my old ones currently getting blasted out the sky. Yeah, there you go. That's, uh, that's looking much better. Wow, I just realized we have naval supremacy already, I'm assuming, from the Germans. So, if the British fleet is around, which it is i don't know what it's doing okay let's give this a go the british fleet could definitely come out and raid us though so uh <laughs> here's hoping oh yeah they don't even they've just got one calf on the port there and i yep okay we're here oh yeah it is definitely over for them uh well there you go i helped you gotta note that down, Germany. I, the communist nation next to you, help <laughs> take out the other communist nation. Please don't come after me. Okay, that does not mean we are done, though. Far from it. Well, uh, I'm gonna be real. I'm not too sure what I can actually do to help over here, considering the supply issues I'm looking at. Uh, yep, just realized the UK has now been, uh, exiled to Gotland. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just putting my cast over places and bombing away and also building up the supply for the AI in hopes that they can do this on their own. Oh, well, there you go. They did it. I say they did it. They didn't. I did it. You know, I was going to be excited saying they didn't actually fight me as for a single province over in the UK, but that's because I noticed they're all currently fighting over Russia. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to quietly take the Navy, and uh, that's, I'm happy with that. Oh, this, this is going to be so bad. Oh, why would they do that? Oh, you know, now I've done this, I'm just gonna see what happens when I hit the decolonization button, and uh, then I guess we'll end it off, huh? Okay, there you go, what actually happened? So it releases uh, Indonesia, so can't do anything about that, and did it release these guys? It did not release them, because I created collab governments in them, so if you want to get around that, just make a collab government in Indonesia, I imagine, and you'll probably keep it, maybe, who knows. Um, not that it matters by the looks of things, because all the focuses, like I said down here, kind of suck. I mean, this one, you know, yeah, sure, it's probably alright if you do it at the start of the game, but yeah, all bad, not worth doing. Much rather actually just keep all this land and have all the resources but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the return of Achievements to Z. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe button down below for more. Because we still have quite a few to get through. But until next time, little Tim, goodbye.